Hi friends, welcome to Happy Nursing. This is Ila. In my previous video, I discussed the concepts and subconcepts of Dorothy Johnson's behavioral system theory. You remember something I told you about subsystem? Today we will discuss those subsystems. Subsystem is a smaller system which belongs to an entire larger system. From the biological point of view, our organ systems consist of different organs which have individual subsystems. From the behavioral point of view, our behavioral system is constituted of many smaller subsystems which we will talk about today. So there are seven subsystems, attachment or affiliative, dependency, ingestive, eliminative, sexual, aggressive and achievement subsystem. Attachment or affiliative subsystem is the social inclusion, intimacy and the formation and attachment of a strong social bond. See, we have already discussed that man is a behavioral system and he has several subsystems in him. Attachment or affiliative subsystem is one of them, which is based on social inclusion. What do we mean by social inclusion? When we are socially recognized by others. It is based on intimacy. Intimacy means friendship, being familiar with others, having a support group and it is needed to form a strong social bond. According to Dorothy, this is the most important subsystem which is needed for social organization. For example, when we have someone to support us, when we know friends in a place, we feel relaxed that okay, she is there, she will help me. Imagine a situation when you are not recognized by anyone. You have gone to a new place and you are all alone by yourself. It will surely disturb your behavioral system, right? On the other hand, when you get someone by yourself or you can form a strong bond with others, it's much easier for you to adjust. Next is dependency subsystem, which is based on approval, attention or recognition and physical assistance. Now being attached with others is not all. We need someone for approval or recognition of our action. For example, you have worked very hard and developed a project, but suppose nobody approves it. You are craving for their appreciation. You want at least someone to speak about your hard work, to appreciate that, right? We always want not only attachment with others, but also a recognition where others will consider our efforts. We also need others to assist us physically if needed. In return of all this, we will also help others in their times of need. So what does this mean? We are interdependent on each other. Dorothy has said, this interdependence has evolved from our childhood, when we were totally dependent on others for everything. Slowly we started to become self-dependent and gradually we came to know that we have to help each other or we have to be interdependent in order to survive, right? Okay, our next subsystem is ingestive subsystem. It gives emphasis on the meaning and structures of the social events surrounding the occasion when the food is eaten. It talks about when, how, what, how much and under what conditions we eat. There are so many scenarios when we eat food, right? At home, on a normal day, at our workplace, in canteen, with friends, out in a restaurant, with seniors, in a conference, etc. Now, if we look carefully, we will notice our behavior is not the same in all the cases. When we eat at home, we are very casual. Maybe we eat with hands, sitting anywhere on a sofa or a chair, watching TV. Again, when we are in our workplace, we will not just sit anywhere anyhow, right? We will sit in the canteen, use the dining table, finish eating on time. When we are in a restaurant with friends, we will laugh a lot, crack jokes. Again, when we are with our seniors in a conference, we will eat quietly most, mostly with a serious talk or very little bit of control, laughing and joking. Mostly we won't use our hands, we will use cutlery. So what do we see here? Our behavior varies everywhere. One situation differs from another. According to every situation, these WH words, how much we are eating, uh, what we are eating, etc. Everything is changed, right? Maybe with seniors, we cannot eat much. We feel embarrassed. With friends, we can eat more. In a restaurant, we will be alert about how we sit, how we talk or how we behave while eating. And at home, we can just sit with our legs apart on floor or on a random chair. We don't care much. Okay, so the main thing here is that the different events or the social occasions where we eat 
define our behavioral system greatly. Next is eliminative subsystem, according to which human cultures have defined different socially acceptable behaviors for excretion of waste. It also addresses when, how and under what conditions we eliminate, just like the ingestive subsystem. Suppose we are traveling and suddenly we need to eliminate or maybe we are a part of a panel discussion on stage and suddenly we need to go to the loo. What is our desired behavior here? We need to control and wait for our next stoppage or for our destination or we may have to control our sphincter till the next break in the panel discussion. Right. Now there may be some people who will not be able to control their urge, maybe due to biological problem or mental problem. What will happen? He can wet his pants which will be very embarrassing or he may shout and ask that he needs to go to the loo at that very moment and create a scene. That means his behavioral system is not right. Next is sexual subsystem. It has the dual functions of procreation and gratification. According to Dorothy Johnson, our sexual subsystem is not only limited to the sexual urge, it has the function of procreation, that is production of offspring continuing future generations. Again, it has the function of gratification, that is pleasure or satisfaction. This subsystem becomes active when we identify our gender role identity, that is a boy becomes aware of his sexual characteristics and becomes attracted to a girl and understands the difference between his system and a girl's system, understands about some of the responsibilities he has to take and vice versa. Those who have an impaired sexual system can develop sadistic behavior regarding sexuality like doing sexual abuse, molestation, rape, etc. The aggressive subsystem relates to protection and self-preservation generating a defense response when there is a threat to life or territory. When do we become aggressive? When we attack someone. Now why will we attack someone? To protect ourselves. This is a self-defensive system which has the function of dealing with self-protection. When someone attacks us, we become aggressive. Maybe their words are highly insulting, they are defaming us or causing harm to us. That time our aggressive system, subsystem works. Now another thing here is that society demands that limits be placed on self-protection modes. What does that mean? For example, I am a very straightforward person. I don't care whom I am talking to. If anyone talks against me, I usually confront him or her. Right. Now what happens, others around me or others in the society may demand that limits should be placed on my behavior. Why? Because I become very aggressive at every other comment. Now people may demand from me that I have to at least listen to some of them. I cannot attack them every time because my aggressive behavior may make them feel unsafe. Last one is the achievement subsystem. Its function is to control an aspect of self or environment to some standard of excellence and the areas of achievement include intellectual, physical, creative, mechanical and social skills. When we are able to control our environment or ourselves from the above aspects, it gives a sense of achievement to us. We feel good. For example, we study harder and harder and achieved good results or we exercised very hard and developed our physical health. We used our creative thinking and got recognition from many people around us. Before that, nobody knew us, nor we felt that this could be done. But as soon as we master the above skill, what happens? We are able to control the environment. Suppose before I was sad that nobody is noticing me, others are performing good. But when I achieved the above skills, everyone started to notice me. They praised and recognized me. So what, uh, I could make the environment in my favor. I controlled the environment and that gave me a sense of achievement, that is achievement subsystem. So we are done with the seven subsystems of Dorothy Johnson's behavioral system, attachment or affiliative subsystem which talks about making social bonds because we cannot live alone, dependency subsystem which tells all of us are interdependent on each other, ingestive subsystem that talks about the behavior while we eat under different conditions. Eliminative subsystem which is about how we behave while facing elimination needs in different situations. Sexual subsystem which helps in developing gender role identity. Aggressive subsystem which we use for self-defense but society opposes that sometimes 
for their own protection from our self-defense methods and achievement subsystem which helps us in controlling our own system and environment to have a sense of achievement. So that's all about Dorothy Johnson's behavioral system. If you like this video, please like and share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.